Hello everyone, today <laughs> I'm going to be talking about the Dragon Republic Oh, something fell, something fell, okay There we go The Dragon Republic by RF Kuang And this is a discussion video So I am going to be talking about spoilers so if you haven't read it, please go read it and then come back. If you don't care to be spoiled, then just stay here and just be spoiled. So yeah, let's just go dive into this book. So this book, I loved. I gave 5 out of 5 stars. I enjoyed this book a lot more than The Poppy War. The Poppy War was just so hard for me to read just because Rin, I felt like she was just spiraling in that book. It was Alton. I don't like him. You guys should know that. I don't like Alton just because I felt like he was really abusive, really manipulative when it comes to Rin and just trying to push his own agenda on her and I really, really hated that. I liked him in the beginning, like in the first part of The Poppy War, I did like him. I don't know, he just seemed different in the way that he wasn't all about like whatever was going on in the school and he seemed to be like always working hard kind of like Rin it's just like he became this this crazy lunatic guy who just wants his agenda and like his plans were not even that great which I don't really want to get into but like the whole like raising all these people from the mountain like that, that, that what did that get you? what did that get you? an angry wind god no no Alton thank you thank you that's what you leave us but we're not here to talk about Alton. So like I said, I really enjoyed this book I thought that Rin's character was really like real really realistic in the sense where like she has the book starts off with her having an opium addiction and The way it's kind of conveyed and like the way she was processing everything how she can't get the Phoenix out of her brain But at the same time she can't get all those images of all the things she did out of her brain and opium being like the only thing that can like silence her brain just seeing all of that really broke my heart and seeing how she was leading the psych i call it kike but the psych was also really hard to watch especially when they were all really devoted and loyal to her the part where sunny is like kind of comforting her because she's going through withdrawal syndromes because she is no longer smoking that was such a lovely scene her character and how she interacted with a bunch of other characters i adored immensely i think in this book i finally understood why she is the way she is in the sense where like she's always trying to prove her worth and get the approval of people higher up than her i finally understood that that's the reason why she kind of let Alton do all the things that he did and it it was kind of hard to read honestly because in a way I do that a lot uh like with my parents and just like society you're always trying to prove like I can do this I I'm worthy of this I think that's something that everyone struggles with to a certain extent but just to see it in a character and like written about it so explicitly it was it was nice to see and shocking so I really enjoyed her relationships again with like all of characters i loved her relationship with katai i thought the relationship was gonna be broken forever but like at the end when they're t still together and the part where he's like no i will be your twin like i will be linked to you we are one ah oh. he is such a cinnamon roll and i'm so sad that all these things have happened to him like his father and he's gonna have to go against like the empire he's always been loyal to and has grown up to love like that just also broke my heart and i just feel so much for him i just really love him i love his humor i love his wit i love his intellect it's just so great to see him and to see how much he cares for rin even though he doesn't he doesn't like to express it the fact that he goes out of his way to like make her these wings and like comfort her and think about what she's gone through and like all these things like i just love him so much and and i hope he doesn't die in the third one which is kind of hard considering like now they're like bonded and so like when she's vulnerable he's vulnerable and like but again i loved it um who else did i love let's see let's just look at my notes what do i want to talk about okay you know what we're just gonna talk about what i want to talk about. <laughs> so i want to talk about the big thing that happened at the end so i called him neza his name is not neza that's how you that's how i say it if i were to pronounce every letter except the h uh, but it's like Nerja. So Nerja. <laughs> okay, the first book, I loved him. I adored him because he was so, he was like the total opposite of Alton. And uh, I just, I really loved him and I wanted to protect him. And in this one, it was no different. I like wanted the best for him. And he was so kind and sweet and awkward with Rin. Like, I love their whole dynamic. I love the scene when they're talking about, like, when he's, like, <laughs> crying. And she, I think Rin is, like, what is he going through? Like, why is he like this? He's, like, I saw you die. And he just, like, starts crying. And she's, like, what is wrong? Why Why are you crying to me? What What are you doing? And, like, he's, he says it again. Like, I saw you die. What do you want out of me? I just want us to be good. Do you want to hit me? I'll let you hit me. Like, I... 
it was such a good scene um i love like all the bits where they're together and they're talking and i love how rain is like i like like him and then he makes me mad but he makes me so happy and i'm like girl you're falling in love <laughs> i also loved it i i can't remember if it was Baji or if it was Sunny who were like main jokes. It was definitely Ramza. He would always be like, oh, the lover's quarrel or something like that. Um, I love Ramza. So this is a scene from like later on in the book. It's towards the ending where like they're sent ahead to go look and spy on the naval ships, uh, Sudaji. Is that how you say her name? Anyways, so it's, he's like, hey, calm down, Baji Pat. A hand on her shoulder. You're shaking. What's wrong? She says, oh, Ness is over there. And then he says, oh, are you afraid for him? And then she whispers without thinking, I'm always afraid for him. And he says, ah, I get it. And he gives her a ridiculous look. You're in love. And she says, don't be disgusting. Just because you think the whole world is tits. And, and then she's cut off. And I just thought that <laughs> her reaction to love is hilarious. I love her so much. But yeah. And I just want to talk about how he betrayed her and how I, this was definitely his father. It was his father. I don't think, like, let me just prove it, okay? I got notes. I got, okay. So reasons why Nerja loves Rin. I don't think he does not love her. I feel like some people do, but I think he does. And these are my points. One, he tells Rin about his shamanism, about the fact that he can like a call on this dragon is bound to this dragon and she wasn't supposed to know that because his parents were like at the end when she's trying to tell like the Hesperians I think that's just that's what they're called that he is also a shaman his parents are like kind of looking at her like how do you know like no he's not like she's talking crazy stuff and I don't think he was supposed to tell her but he did he did so point one made point two he needs to be okay with her without the battle which is a scene i referred to where he was crying and also kind of when he gets hurt and she feels guilty about it and like all of these scenes where he's just trying to make peace with her like why why are you well i guess that's a good tool to like oh trust me but when he was crying that just made no sense and then like when she came back from like the whole shipwreck that happened because of his brother idiot first of all he was he was like can i hug you and they hugged for a long time so let me just say this <laughs> that's all i gotta say <laughs> and then my third part and this is the end of it when she falls into the river like his dream had said she would he saves her he uses his power to save her he could have freaking easily let her die because at that point i think in time yeah the wind god had been done away with so he could have just let her die but no no and i think honestly the part where he's crying and he's like i saw you die and stuff was maybe because of the dream but also i think it's because he probably had a talk with his father about Rin and how he was going to sacrifice her at the end and like kind of like treat her off. And I think that's why he was crying, which might be <laughs> me just like making stuff up. But I don't think I am. Okay, I do think I am. But <laughs> the point in the matter is I think he loves her and I think that he was crying. And then at the end when she was almost dying, he couldn't like kill her and like watch her die because he loves her and he ended up saving her and you know all this stuff happened and i'm just so psyched for the third book because i want to see more of this i want to see more of this world how things are gonna end off like sudaji like that girl is crazy but she has so many good points and maybe i'm just being manipulated by her maybe that's it maybe i'm just weak but i am mad and i want like the northern shamans you know like uh, is it hither is it hitherlands i don't know but those people they need to come down they need to help my girl rin and i'm so happy that she got to see that this was not a battle of provinces or of kind of like command or like this is a war and it's a war because it's the rich versus the poor and it kind of always is in life so i'm rooting for her uh she's so broken towards the end and you know venka i think that's how you pronounce her name i adore her she is such a fighter and i love her sass and i love her comments and i think she's funny and she deserves the world and her and katai can get to 
together but yeah those are kind of all of what i have to say surrounding that part um i'm really sad at all the deaths that happened i think the one that hurt the most was ramza he i love him so much he had to go and sacrifice himself that that hurt a lot what else i feel like i just want to talk about that piece about nurja's piece because zutara and like how are you just going to like backstab her like that honestly i know like the way this story set up i don't think there's going to be a happy ending but a girl can dream i think it's gonna be a really exciting conclusion the stakes are gonna be so high there's gonna be like three major fighting types four maybe i don't know because we have like the empire now going the northern part of the empire going against the southern part of the empire who rin is going to be leading <laughs> and then we have the hisperians or whatever and they're going back up the empire and then we have the federation which i they might back up the empire i don't even know hopefully they don't and they back up the south and then hopefully we get the shamans um too so yeah those are all my thoughts guys i hope you guys enjoyed it um i love this book five out of five stars i loved all the commentary all the quotes there's a lot of quotes just about being human and being a human during war but that's all i gotta say please leave your thoughts below and i will talk to you guys later bye